Welcome back to the 10th airport update from IDs Aviation and as you know with the current situation going on around the, the world and it's that's negatively impacting the world of aviation as well um, this airport update it's going to be different I mean I, I'm gonna to keep it realistic um, it's really different and there are going to be a lot less flights due to cancellations or um, aircraft groundings a lot of airlines have stopped flying so so let me show you everything going on in the airport in this 10th airport update over here is an Air China 747-8 departing to Beijing capital Air China stopped operations temporarily when when the situation in China was a little bit worse but now that the situation has um, improved in China they resumed flight to the airport but maybe they're going to suspend them in the future and as you can see here um, both Lufthansa and ANA the two A380 operators in the airport have cancelled their flights as well to Frankfurt, um, Munich, and um, Tokyo Narita, respectively. Also, here's the Qantas 787-9 in the Yam Dream livery. This aircraft just arrived from from Sydney, and it's going just going to stay here throughout the night. Um, they have not canceled flights yet, but it could they could cancel flights any moment. As you can see also, well, um, KLM, they suspended their flights um, here to the airport, as well as Iberia and uh, Qatar Airways, Emirates, as you know, grounded every single one of their aircraft. Um, they suspended all flights, including the flight to this airport. So all of those airlines are not flying here, as well as um, Avianca. They are also not flying as well because they, as they just like Emirates, they suspended all flights. So you see the emptiness of the airport. There's a lot less flights, more cancellations. The long haul routes, they're mostly um, canceled. And um, the airlines, well, they're not coming here. And also but at least here is the British Airways 747-400 in the gold nose livery it's departing to London Heathrow any moment soon um, loading up the luggage and a lot of cargo actually um, for London Heathrow but um, the other flights um, throughout the weekday have been cancelled um, but the other flights, some other flights from British Airways to the airport still continue. And Qatar Airways, today's flight was not cancelled. It arrived from Doha mm, a few hours ago. And um, and yeah, but, it's, it, but tomorrow's flight will be suspended. This A321neo from American Airlines, it will depart soon to Dallas Fort Worth and then um, it will come back from Dallas and it will resume flights mostly but but as you can see there are no American Airlines aircraft at this moment because well they cut a lot of operations so this flight to Dallas is mostly the only one still operating right now and it will depart in a few minutes here on the other side of the airport as you can see the Delta A350 um, it was uh, taken to Atlanta to be um, grounded over there it's not going to do any flights because of Delta cutting operations um, it's grounded in Atlanta so it will not be here for quite a while um, but we have a Delta 737-900 which came from LAX and then it will depart to JFK in a few hours and also here is Delta CS100 
well now the Airbus A220 it is now departing to Detroit International and Alaska Airlines has also cut a lot of the operations in the airport um, but here we have a an, an Alaska Airlines in the Virgin Atlant in the Virgin America livery which arrived from San Francisco and will be going to Dallas Love Field in um, in a few hours, well, tomorrow it will be going to Dallas Love Field. And here we have a Volaris A320 Neo, um, which will be going to Mexico City right now in a few minutes. But Aeromexico, as you can see, they have suspended operations and to this airport. They actually cut quite a few flights, quite a few um, international operations. So they will not be coming here for until further notice. And here we have just the Southwest um, seasonal flight um, to Dallas Love Field. It, this is the Southwest 737-700 in the Triple Crown livery. Um, it arrived from Dallas Love Field and will go to Dallas Love Field. But um, this is a seasonal flight, but it will likely not be cancelled, but Southwest is, is still flying this seasonal flight. And as you can see, still a lot of changes. Um, for example, um, Interjet and all those other airlines, they're not flying here. They suspended those flights. Um, as I told you before, um, Emirates grounded all aircraft. This A350 um, went to Atlanta to be grounded as well. Um, Lufthansa's A380s were grounded, so they are not flying here until um, further notice. ANA's A380 flight was also canceled. Um, Air China, well, they flew, they started flying again, but but we don't know about the situation here. Um, Qantas, they're still doing regular flights. Um, so, so those are all the updates right now currently going on with the situation. Um, we hope it does um, it does change. We see this airport back full in full operation once again, but for now it is really empty. If you look at all those empty gates over here, the the wide body gates, they're mostly empty. Um, the A380s are gone. The most of the narrow bodies, they're also empty um, American Airlines not here mm. and if you can see a lot of ground vehicles they're not currently operating because well there's th there's not that many aircraft so most of the ground vehicles they are not operating they're mostly um, just um, parked because well they they there's not enough demand as you can see here those um, buses and stairs that they're just parking um, these um, for the luggage they're also parked um, the tug is parked um, a lot of these um, ground vehicles they're also parked and um, some of them they're still operating of course but it's in a much less frequency than a normal day in the airport the full vehicle is also not operating there's a lot of ground vehicles not operating as you can see so so it this is airport update number 10 i hope you enjoyed and um sadly well this is um as i'm trying to base this on realism well this specific airport update um it's sadly mostly empty and there's not that many flights, but we hope this can recover in a matter of a few months. Um, and for the next airport update, we hope it's uh, already full back in operations. And please like, subscribe, and um, just comment if you really enjoyed the video. I also really appreciate the support you gave in the last airport update. Um, I did not expect it to be that much and hope to see you in another airport update and please stay safe um stay safe 
and um, that's all I have. My best wishes for all of you during this um, situation. And well, signing up for IDs Aviation.